ओम शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ थर्टीन ऑफ डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन योर स्पिरिचुअल योगा इज फॉर बिकमिंग एवर प्योर बिकॉज यू हैव योगा विद दी ओशियन ऑफ प्योरिटी इन ऑर्डर टू स्टैब्लिश प्योर वर्ल्ड क्वेश्चन विच फेथ सुड दी चिल्ड्रेन whose intellects have firm faith have first of all what are the signs of that faith answer first and foremost you need to have the firm faith that you are children of the one father and that you receive your deity sovereignty from him when you have this faith it will instantly enter your intellects that the devotion you have been performing has now ended and that you have now found god himself only the children whose intellects have firm faith become heirs song o traveler from the far away land om shanti the father sits here and explains that all are travelers from the far away land all souls are residents of the supreme abode which is far far away This is also mentioned in the scriptures. Souls reside far away, where the light of the sun or the moon doesn't exist. There isn't a drama in the incorporeal world or the subtle region. There is the drama of the corporeal world, which is called the human world. There isn't a cycle of eighty-four births in the incorporeal world. or in the subtle region the cycle is shown in the human world what is the human world and what are human beings made of a human being is made of a soul and a body a puppet brackets body is created of the five elements and a soul enters it and plays his part so all our residents from the far away land however you do have faith human beings don't have faith the father has explained you call me the resident of the far away land but the residents of all of you souls is the same those who play parts in other plays all have their own homes they come from there to perform their parts here you children understand that you are all children of the one father and that you are all residents of the one home the supreme abode that is the great element of brahm and this is the element of the sky you play your parts here there is also night and day and this is why there are the sun and moon there is no day or night in the incorporeal world the sun and moon are not deity they are lights to illuminate the stays the sun gives light during the day and there is moonlight at night now all human beings want to go to the land of liberation you know that god resides up above when people remember god and say o oh, supreme father supreme soul their intellects go up above you souls understand but there is ignorance everywhere you know that you are not residents of this place that one is our father they say o oh, god the father with their mouths and then they say all are the father god is omnipresent it has been explained to you children that not all are the father all souls are brothers of one another they continue to fight and quarrel among themselves because of not knowing this you souls are brothers and you have become children of the one father those whose intellects have faith are number wise in a worldly relationship you always have the faith 
that you are going to receive your inheritance from your father. Here, Maya repeatedly turns your faces away from the father. You, you belong to the almighty authority, father, and so Maya too. As an almighty authority, fights with you. This is a war of gaining victory over the five vices. This war is very well known, but it is nothing like the Kauravas and Pandavas that they have shown in the scriptures. This war with Ravan is very fierce. We souls want to stay in remembrance of the father and become complete and pure. There is no way to do this other than having yoga. All others who study yoga do not do that for observing purity. All of that is physical yoga for a temporary period, whereas this is a spiritual yoga for becoming ever pure. By having yoga with the ocean of purity, we become pure. The father says your sins of many births are burnt with this fire of yoga. Your intellects also say that this world is impure. Ask anyone if this is the golden age or the iron age. No one would call this the golden age. The golden age is in the new world. That is called the golden age and this is called the iron age. The old world is called the iron age and the new world is called the golden age. You cannot say that it is now the golden age as well as the iron age, no. A resident of hell means a resident of hell. The old world is called an impure world and the new world is called a pure world. This explanation is for human beings. Animals would not say, O oh, purifier, come, ask anyone and he would say that this is hell. Bharat was a new world, heaven, and Bharat is now an old world, hell. Continue to emphasize Bharat. All others come in the middle period. We don't have any connection with them. Our religion which has now disappeared is separate. You have now become those whose intellects have faith. You know that you are the children of the one father. You receive self-sovereignty from the father. First of all, you need to have this firm faith. You listen to knowledge and that is fine. Subjects are created. However, you also have to have the faith that you are children of the unlimited father. You understand that you were performing devotion in order to meet God. That devotion has now come to an end. God himself has now come and met us. We receive the Sun Dynasty status of self-sovereignty from him. We claim such a high status. Wealthy people adopt a child and they only adopt one child. Whereas here, the unlimited father wants innumerable children. He says, those who become my children will receive the inheritance of heaven. Those who don't belong to me cannot claim the inheritance. They don't even follow Srimad. Those who have faith say, Baba, you have come once again and we shall now never let go of your hand. The father explains to the children. Children then explain to others that they have become the children of the Parlokic father. We are following his Srimad. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul is teaching us. So many have become BKs and they definitely have faith and so why should we not become that too? You should write, I now belong to you and send it to Baba. The father would say, I am not far away. I am sitting here. I am present here. I am sitting here in a practical way. It is said of the president that he is present on this earth. 
it doesn't mean that the president is omnipresent in the same way the supreme father the supreme soul who is called the remover of sorrow and the restorer of happiness cannot be omnipresent since not a single person stays unhappy there is the, there in uh, in the absence of the father brackets in heaven how can human beings be so unhappy in his presence the father creates a nest for you children just as words create a nest for their little ones so the father too creates a nest for you children he has the nest made for you through you the nest of heaven is being made for you to stay in the father says if you follow my directions you will rule in heaven if you have firm faith you will catch hold of this tightly it isn't that you just have to sit here you mustn't leave your homes and families those people leave their homes and families they consider their guru to be their god they don't die alive you have to die alive and then live in the golden age you are claiming your unlimited inheritance from the father you have the faith that the unlimited father is teaching you and giving you the inheritance for 21 births and so you should follow his directions when you become a child of the father he gives directions first of all sit in a bhatti for a week you will continue to receive this knowledge every day not everyone understands the same extent each one takes it according to his or her efforts and fortune everything depends on your efforts and fortune you can tell what is in your fortune and what status you will claim after belonging to the father you still have to live at home with your families acha if you don't have a household then become a stick for the blind you definitely have to go to relate the story of the true narayan look daughter prem has gone on service those who invited her welcomed her with honor and introduced her to many others and they were quite impressed however the father says not a single one of them has an intellect with the faith that it is the unlimited father who teaches all of you and that it is for it is it is from him that you then receive the inheritance for 21 births they do become impressed but they don't have the faith that it truly is the father the ocean of knowledge who is teaching you yes they say that this is very good but as soon as they go outside everything ends hardly anyone makes this effort although they have spiritual gatherings among themselves the intellects of those who gather together don't have that faith there is faith and doubt one minute they say that the father is teaching them and the next minute they ask how is this possible yes it is good to become pure but it is very difficult to remain pure first of all there has to be faith and they should write with that happiness inside them those who are free from bondage never write such letters as the gopikas who are in bondage do baba writes you haven't made the intellect of even one person have faith yes you have created ordinary subjects but you haven't created airs not a single person has become one whose intellect has faith only those whose intellects have faith become airs although the intellects of some do have faith they don't take this knowledge and so they go and become maids and servants of that dynasty as you progress further you will receive accurate visions you will also know which number maids and servants you will become then there will be great repentance i did not follow shrimat and that is why i have reached this condition nevertheless in every situation it would be said to be the drama this one has this part in the drama for cycle after cycle 
you will definitely have reasons. The result has to be announced at the end. It would then be said to have been destined. This was in my fortune. The result of your studies will be announced. This is a very high school. The one who is teaching is only the one. There is only the one study and only the one examination. The teacher knows what the students are like. Everyone continues to gallop. As you progress further, you will come to know a great deal. You will repeatedly go into trance just as you used to do in, used to in the beginning. You continue to understand and the father continues to explain. You make mistakes by not following Srimad. By moving along in that way, you develop that habit. You may ask, say, Baba, am I following your Srimad? Baba would tell you, you do not follow it. And this is why your fortune is seen to be as it is. It is understood that you have bad omens at the moment. However, when you make more progress, they will be removed. Some fall into a slight intoxication of lust. Bharat was pure and elevated and it is now degraded. There is praise of those elevated deities. The father says this is a devilish community. I have come to establish a deity community. This deity religion is the highest of all. The father alone is the purifier. But people don't understand anything. All of those who come to establish a religion are definitely pure. In every situation, there are the good and the bad. There are those with less fortune and those with good fortune. This kingdom of Ravan is now to end. The city of Ravan has to be set on fire. You Rama's army are sitting here. Those who belong to this religion will continue to understand. You understand number wise? Some are shot with just one arrow like King Janak and they surrender. They never make excuses. Excuses don't work here. However, there are also many storms of Maya. She makes you forget your own clan and that you are the children of God. Therefore, you children have to become very sweet. There mustn't be the slightest intoxication of lust. Lust is the greatest enemy. This is the most important examination. Baba said children live together and remain pure and demonstrate this. The father knows the stays of the children. Those whose intellects have faith give their news to the father. Baba, I remember you and I am also doing service. Only when they write their service news do I have faith in them. It is only when they give the proof of the service they do that Baba feels great hope in them. It should then also be understood that Baba is one and that there are many of us children. Don't think that Baba has to respond to you every day. No, the father is the lord of the poor. Donations are given to the poor. This land of Bharat is poor. From being wealthy, Bharat has become poor. No one knows this. This Bharat is an imperishable land where God incarnates. Bharat was the golden sparrow. That is, it was the treasure store of total happiness. And we are all making effort to go to that land of happiness. Achha. To the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father Bhaptada, the spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence for Dharna number one, don't make excuses. But continue to follow the father, Srimad. Give the proof of the service you do. Second, don't forget that you are the children of God and that your clan is the highest of all. Let your intellect have faith and also inspire others to have faith. Blessing 
may you be constantly seated on your seat of elevated self respect and give respect to all and thereby be respected by all remain constantly stable in your elevated self respect be humble and continue to give respect to everyone for this giving will become a form of receiving to give respect means to put zeal and enthusiasm into other souls and enable them to make progress by constantly staying in your self respect you will automatically have all attainments because of your self respect the world will respect you and you will become worthy of receiving elevated respect from all slogan the record of those who give regard to everyone becomes good automatically slogan the record of those who give regard to everyone becomes good automatically om shanti